Standards are documents containing guidelines that set out specifications and instructions for products and services. They are designed to ensure that these products and services are of a high quality, safe and are reliable. The standard I've chosen for this task is the Australia slash New Zealand Standard 1547 2012 edition, titled On-Site Domestic Wastewater Management. This standard was designed to provide the necessary requirements for various treatment units and the way they should be implemented. The aim is to achieve and execute an effective, safe and sustainable on-site domestic wastewater management plan to ensure that the health and safety of the public and environment are protected. Systems contained in this standard include primary, secondary and disinfection wastewater systems. The standard focuses largely on septic tanks. It is also crucial to note that the methods and systems explored in this standard are designed for domestic wastewater flows of about 13,000 litres per week with a population of up to 10 persons. The cost of implementing such standard varies from job to job. An overview of what it takes to achieve a good wastewater disposal system is as follows. Aeration Household System This system collects normal do domestic household waste from toilets, showers and kitchen sinks so it can be, it can be treated. The treated water can then be distributed in areas like gardens. Installments can cost roughly $4,000. Soakage systems. These are used as a means of stormwater drainage which can cost about $1,000. Septic tanks. These are employed to collect and treat sewage through bacteria activity. Installation of such tank would cost about $2,500. Mound systems. This is an alternative to septic tanks, used in areas where the septic tank isn't favorable due to extremely permeable soil. They cost about $4,000 to install. Implementing this standard at a workplace can be costly, but it provides the security of knowing that jobs are being executed well. And should something go wrong with a completed job in future, the company and its employees are protected. Adherence to standards also builds a positive reputation for the company because it shows that the company abides by the rules and carry out tasks in a proper manner. This could mean that clients offer more jobs to the company which will increase the company's revenue. The standard works hand in hand with Environment and Health Protection Guidelines, a standard created in 1998. The New South Wales government have developed these guidelines to approach and monitor the use of small septic tanks and other on-site sewage management systems. The beneficiaries are local councils who require to regulate and, man and manage the design, installation and maintenance of, of household on-site sewage systems. The approach taken is based on the need to protect and enhance public health and environment. Thank you.